Hello one, hello all. This is 60% cat here. And I am going to... This is like a story time. Story time. Yes, I'm going to talk about all these freaking jobs I've had. I've had like a million freaking jobs. And um, I've learned a lot of things from them. And a lot of things and did not learn from them. So I'm going to take you back. Back to young Julian, uh, that's my real name, when I was slamming teen, and uh, you know, I was looking to get a job. Did I have a girlfriend then? I think I did. I wanted, I think most of all, I just wanted, uh, oh, I had long hair then, I looked like a girl. Hi, I'm Julian, I'm effeminate. Um, we had like, in school we had a bowling class. And I thought it'd be cool to actually work at that bowling alley. Especially to go up to the food and be like, Hey, Janice, how you doing? Can we get some onion rings? She's like, shut the fuck up, Julian. Get out of here. Um, that never happened. But, uh, no, I did work at the bowling alley. And I, I noticed, I remember the first thing I noticed about working. So, like, officially working. I mean, I, you know. You find other ways to get jobs as a kid, you know, like, like jacking people. Um, I noticed just how untrained the tasks are. And it's been like this ever since till now. They're like, go to lane 17 and go clean up the, the, the approach. They called it the approach. Like, what's the approach? That's where the bull is. They go up, they walk up, and they, it can't be, it can't be sticky, but it can't be too slippery, so you gotta use a rag and clean it. And I'm just, like, up there, and, like, all these crazy pro bowlers with their, like, robot arms are, like, what this kid doing? I'm just like, oh, God, I, I, is this right? I don't know. Like, I'm just going up and down, like, we, this is, like, a pro league, okay? Like, we need to get our bowling done. So I was really nervous. Whenever we were called, my position was called a prom. No, not not the 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 dance, the overpriced dance you do is when you're prepubescent or whatever. Dress up in little bow ties and wedding dresses or whatever they do. Um, no, we were called prom because it was short for promenade. And I was like, what? It was always really awkward when people when they uh. When they announced we need to go to a certain lane, they're like, this is a megaphone. Brown to lane 27. And people are like, what the fuck is a prom? Like, what? You mean, is there going to be a dance on lane 27? And then here you see my, this guy, this effeminate young, young lad, like, oh, what do you need me for? <laughs> and uh, they're like, yeah, we got a ball stuck in the lane. And I'm like, why the fuck you throwing them when the, the gate's down? You can't throw them when the gate's down. You're going to get kicked out. It's a little bit of exaggeration, but you get the point. Slow. So that job was good. Um, there are certain abuses, I guess you could say, that happened. I'm just going to just gonna admit to this. 17. And the bartender told me. He's like, yeah, if you wanna, if you ever wanna drink, yeah, just go in the cooler and, and take one of the ones that don't have the top so you can drink it right out of the cooler and just drink it in there and then nobody will know and you can come out. And I'm like, oh, oh, really? Oh. And I think I just started drinking and I was just overly fascinated with it. It just seemed like the greatest thing ever. So here I am, <laughs> chugging Goldschlager, getting all that sweet, sweet gold in my, in my intestines. Let me get a gold color. I don't like gold. I like gold. Pieces of gold in my tummy. Feeling gold on the outside. Um, it's it's like cosmic bowling. And, uh, there's, you know, there's lights everywhere. And I'm just, like, wasty-faced. Like, ah, this is fun. I like this job. This is great. And I'm, like, picking up people's glasses. And then when I put them away, they, like, break. I literally broke, like, five glasses that, like, the first night I, I was drinking a lot. And, uh, you know, I never got caught for that. 
but there was this other kid that like found out about it and he's like telling everybody about it he's like he's like dude i got fucking drunk while i'm working and it was like it was awesome man like oh, and he would like act obnoxious and stuff and i'm like i'm like dude at first i told him like i don't know what you're talking about but he he's like dude no i i heard from somebody told me that you did that and like no man i don't do that no no it was, i knew the the essential rule was to never ever 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 talk about it and this guy was breaking that rule and eventually he got fired from doing that stuff and thank god i didn't affiliate much with him so i was safe but you know that just starts a good trend for the rest of my job my very first job getting drunk on the job it's great oh that was also during the time when you could smoke cigarettes and it was just like every time coming back from work i just smelled like a dank alley just smoke freaking everywhere and i actually liked it it gave it like a sort of atmosphere that i thought was interesting okay so my next job was carpet cleaning and so this started when this charming guy named chris he was uh he came to my house to clean my carpets and i'm this young lad i think i'm 18 now yeah because it was like a year later and uh, so he's like cleaning the carpets. He uses his buffer machine. He's like, he's like, yo, I got a lot of monies and I'm a business owner and blah, 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 blah. And he tries to like, he's just like a charming guy, I guess. But he tries to like, to like inspire you. Do I have long hair at this point? I don't think so. I think I cut my hair. That's probably the only reason why he hired me because I, I looked like a normal child, <laughs> young lad, I guess you could say. And he was like, Venture was like, he's like, yo, you could, you could do this job. You want to work for me? And it was like, you don't know anything about me. And you just offer me this job. And I'm like young. I'm like, I'm like, but I'm only 18. I think it was 17. Cause I think I remember saying 17. He's like, oh, that doesn't matter. You can, you can do whatever. Like, it's just, it's really easy. So, uh, so we go on like on our first job. I'm just following him around. He's like, he's like, use this sprayer thing. And it's like one of those sprayers that you use to like spray chemicals on your lawn. It's like, yeah, just, just spray that around and stuff. And I was like, well, how much? And like, and where? And, and where do I else do I do it? Like, what if, how do I pump it? How much do I need to pump it? I just have all these like nuances that I need to know. He's like, no, nah, just do it, Matt. Just do it. So I'm just doing it. And then I follow him from one job to the next. I'm driving a van at this point, spending all this money on gas. And as he said once, and he said a million times, you're going to make a lot of money for a kid your age. He kept saying that all the time. Oh, this is a, every time he paid me, he was like, oh, this is a lot of money for a kid your age. And I'm just like, what the fuck does that mean? Does that mean I shouldn't be paid as much just because I'm young? Like, what does it matter? I'm doing this kind of adult sort of job. It's really strange. It got worse later when he would, he, I guess, was low on his bills or something. Or always, on, uh, he's always trying to do these real estate, quote unquote, investments. He's like, sorry, kid, uh, can't pay you right now. So, uh, so yeah, that's that. And I'm just like, uh, what the fuck? Like a real job. You can't, you can't do that to people. You can't not pay them. And so it would come to the point where he would not pay me for a long time. And so I wouldn't have any money. And then he also wouldn't fill the freaking van, the, the cleaning van with gas so freaking it was always so freaking low i was always scared like each job i was like i called him on the phone i'm like yo uh i don't have enough gas to get to my next job or you know i didn't do that i mean i would tell him that and he's just like oh just put some put some gas in and i'll pay you back later and like i don't have any money he's even paid me in forever and then uh so i couldn't fill it with gas and so one day it ran out of gas and it was on the side of the road and he's getting calls from like the police or something saying there's a there's a his cars on the side of the road i'm just like i mean i had like a little bit of money and i had no choice but to use it for gas i kind of just refused to because he owed me money and it was like oh god so there's like a gas station like right here up the road it was about a minute or maybe a few minutes walk for some reason i didn't remember that gas station i went the opposite way and i had to like run and it was like a couple miles or something um I had to get a freaking gas tank and 
it was all all right, but it just kind of showed how fucked up that guy was. He would also, I would get a percentage instead of uh, an hourly rate. And I also had to spend money to get, because I had to take his van, I had to spend money to get to his van. So, uh, I dri I'm driving my van to his van. And so actually every day just to drive total took 20 bucks of gas. So if I didn't make that much money, it wasn't worth doing any jobs that day. But one day he was like, yeah, I only got the small job. It's an $80 job. I think I got 20% at the time. So I'd be like, I'm going to get $16 for this job when it cost me $20 of gas. I'm going to be losing money. I just And I finally told him I was really afraid of confrontation. I'm just like, I'm going to be losing money. This is not worth it. And he's like, oh, it's like the first time I ever like challenged him. And he's like, oh, you, so it's not worth it for you to, to do this job, huh? I'm like, well, look at the numbers. It's totally not worth it. He's like, oh, oh. he just kind of like was flabbergasted. He's like, oh, okay, Mr. Gull. Yeah, you're just a kid. Blah, 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 blah. Fucking guy. I think it taught me to kind of like stand up for myself when, I mean, I had to in that situation. That was just ridiculous.